Hello guys and welcome to lesson 3 of my beginner Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new sequence and how to import files into your timeline in Premiere Pro. Now, there are several ways to create a sequence in Premiere Pro. The first way is to come over to File over here and select New and select Sequence. And you could come over to Sequence Presets over here and select from any of the presets over here. For example, if your video was shot at 1080p, 23 frames per second, you select this. If it's at 25 frames, you select what sequence works with your footage. For example, if your video is at 4K, you come over here, you select Ultra HD 4K and you select one of the resolutions that goes with it. But if you want to manually create a sequence, come over here to Settings. And you, under the editing mode here, you can leave it at custom and manually change your sequence from 1920 by 1080 to whatever settings works best for your clip. For example, you want to change the frame size if it's 1920 by 1080 or if it's a lesser video size or a higher video size. You may also want to change the aspect ratio over here and all these settings. But if you don't want to go through all this technicality, you can come over to the editing mode over here and change it to the settings of your camera. For example, if we come over here, you can see DSLR, you can see ProRes RAW, you can see for red cinema cameras. We can, if you scroll down over here, you can see for Sony cameras over here. And if you go up here, you can also see for Canon cameras over here. So basically, you can just select what best works for the video you shot. And if you're okay, we have Ari Cinema. For example, if you select Ari Cinema over here, you can come over here and make it either 4K and whatever you like. Once you're done, you can come here and save it as a preset, right? You can save it as a preset and hit OK. And the moment you do that, you'll notice that a sequence has been added here into our project panel over here. Remember, in our last video, we created a video folder and we put in some videos into that folder. We created a photo folder and we put in some pictures. So basically, we organized our panel over here so now you can see that a sequence has been added over here also if you notice in the timeline you will notice that a sequence has been added here it's called sequence six now what is a sequence a sequence is a simple and ordered list or numbers on your timeline where you arrange and edit and apply effects to your videos photos or audio clips so if you come over here now you see we have video track layer one video track layer two video track layer 3, audio 1, a 2 which stands for audio 2, a 3 which stands for audio 3, meaning that you can come over here now and stack your videos because you've created a sequence.